Well, I think it's great for solving crime because one, we always try to work as much as we can with the community and we need the community's input to solve some of these crimes. You can help your neighborhood, your community, by registering your surveillance camera system with us. It's already helping in other cities and states across America. There's other agencies around the country that are doing what they call a civilian camera registry. This idea of a civilian camera registry came, it was collaboration between our patrol staff, our investigative staff, and our crime analysis unit. We hope people will sign up to help us solve crimes in Kern County. It's a voluntary program. Um, if citizens want to register and let us know that they have a surveillance system, they can register that information and then deputies and detectives, when a crime occurs um, at that location or around that location, they'll have, be able to access that information immediately on who has cameras. We will not be able to see your cameras. This just informs us that you do have them. We don't have direct access to their systems. It'd be, it, it's voluntarily, so we would contact that person and say, hey, there was a crime that was committed here or around here. Do you, do you have any video footage or do you mind if we look at any video footage on your surveillance system that may help us solve this crime? How important could your video footage be? It's very important. We've had numerous cases uh, in the sheriff's office that were high profile cases that very large and important investigative leads came from um, surveillance footage. Surveillance video helps put the suspect at the scene of a crime and has showed the timeline of a high profile murder in Kern County. In August 2014, Robert Lamone was shot and killed in Tehachapi at his workplace. Video shows a person walking around the property. There's only one way in and one way out. So this surveillance showing a motorcycle driving in and later out was a big clue. That very same motorcycle was seen at a gas station at Four Corners, Highway 58 and 395. Video inside showed the suspect, still wearing the helmet, as he returned to his home in Hesperia. Detectives later found the clothes he was wearing and arrested Jonathan Hearn. He was convicted, as well as Limon's wife, Sabrina Limon, of murder. Sometimes people may think that I didn't capture this crime on my video. That may be true, but a lot of times we may use the video because whoever committed that crime had to either travel one direction or come from another direction and were able to piece it together and paint a bigger picture on what happened. We showed you one example of a major case solved and prosecuted thanks to video. You could help solve the burglary on your block and assault in your neighborhood by registering your camera. In addition to solving the crimes and reducing crime, I think it continues to build a great relationship between law enforcement um, and the community to work together to solve and reduce crime in our neighborhoods, which is of the utmost importance to us.